In this problem, we have a 250 kilogram box that's pulled up a ramp that makes a 30 degree angle with the ground. I'll draw this here. This will be the ramp. This angle here I'll call theta, and theta will equal 30 degrees. This block will be on this ramp. This box will have a mass of 250 kilograms. It tells us that this box is pulled up with a 2,000 newton force that makes an 18 degree angle with respect to the incline. So we'll pretend that the incline is the zero level. So this will be 18 degrees above that. This angle we'll called beta. And beta will equal 18 degrees. Now this force here, I'll call FP for force of the pooling will be equal to 2,000 newtons. Now I'm going to split the force of the pool into its components in the x and in the y. This will be fp cosine of beta. This will be fp sine of beta. I'm going to finish drawing this free body diagram. This box will have gravity that will point straight down. I'm going to split gravity into its components. It'll have a component in the y and it'll have a component in the x. This angle here will be theta, same as the ramp. This will be mg, so this will be mg cosine of theta. This will be mg sine of theta. This box will have a normal force perpendicular to the ground. I'll call this fn. And since it tells us this box is going to get moved up the hill, I'll draw my acceleration arrow up the hill. And its friction force is going to oppose this motion and it's going to point down the hill. So I'll call this FF for friction. Now it also tells us a little bit more information. It tells us the coefficient of friction is 0.3. So I'll call this mu, it's gonna be equal to 0.3. And it tells us that this box has moved a distance of 12 meters up the ramp. So I'll just call this delta X, and that'll be equal to 12 meters. Now it wants us to find the work done by friction as well as the work done by the force that you're pulling with. Well, work is equal to force dot product delta x, where delta x is the displacement. I'm going to start with the work of friction, so I'll call it wf equal to ff. Now to find the force of friction, I'm going to write out my forces in the y. I'm going to start by writing what's positive and what's negative. I'm going to say that to the right of the hill will be positive. I'm going to say that up the hill will be positive. I'm going to say that to the left will be negative and that down will be negative. So in the y, I have fn, which will be positive. I have fp sine of beta, which will also be positive. And I have mg cosine of theta, which will be negative. Now this block doesn't jump off this uh, ramp and it doesn't sink to the ground so the acceleration in the y is going to be zero f is going to be zero it'll be f net so it'll be fn minus mg cosine of theta plus fp sine of beta is equal to zero so fn is equal to mg cosine of theta minus fp sine of beta and force of friction ff is equal to mu fn i'll plug that into there it'll be work of friction is equal to mu times this whole term which will be mg cosine of theta minus fp sine of beta dot product delta x, which I'll leave as delta x for now. I'll write this using the definition of the dot product. I'll get the work of friction is equal to the magnitude. It'll be mu times mg cosine of theta minus force of the pool sine of beta times the absolute value of delta x times cosine, and it'll be the angle between the force of friction and the displacement. Well, the force of friction will point down this hill 
on this horizontal plane here and the displacement is going to be up this hill also on this horizontal plane so this will be 180 degrees between them so it'll be cosine of 180 which is negative 1 plugging this with numbers we'll get the work friction is equal to 0.3 times 250 times 9.8 times cosine of 30 minus 2000 sine of 18 times 12 and times cosine of 180 which will become negative 5413 joules now we need to find the work done by the force this one is luckily easier than for friction work is equal to force this will be force of the pool this will also be work of the pool dot product delta x now the force of the pool is just 2000 newtons so you can say work of the pool is equal to using the definition of dot product again it'll be the magnitude of 2000 times the magnitude of the displacement delta x and it'll be times cosine of the angle between them well the displacement is along this horizontal plane and the angle of the force of the pool is just 18 degrees which is beta from this incline so it'll be cosine of 18 i'm going to write this a little bigger it'll be work of the pool is equal to 2000 times 12 times cosine of 18 and work of the pool is going to be equal to 22,825.3 joules and that is your final answer thank you for watching